Hey guys, David from Sunday Sounds here. Today I want to show you how I'm controlling Ableton Live from my iPad using the Touch OSC app. This is a $5 app that you can get on any smart device. You can download it in the App Store and then it turns your tablet or your smartphone into a MIDI controller. And it's really, really cool and pretty simple to use. So let me show you how I'm using it for this live keys rig. So Touch OSC allows you to create uh, the visual that you see on screen to be pretty much whatever you'd like it to be. It comes with some default presets, but most of those are more uh, meant for like live DJing and things like that. So we've created a custom template that's a part of our Sunday Keys for Ableton template. So it mirrors what you're seeing on screen on the Mac and it gives you a uh, one-to-one -one hands on control of parameters that are really helpful to have real time access to. So here in this template for Touch OSC, there's three tabs. And the top half of the screen is the same for all three tabs. So all that's changing is the bottom half. And this gives us access to parameters that we might want to be able to use during real performance, but we don't necessarily need available all the time. So on the first page, I have access to the tonic pad generator in Sunday Keys. So I can just choose a key, and then the ambient pad will start playing. And then I've got five different uh, textures for the drone that I can bring in or out. And I've also got this XY transform pad where I can increase or decrease the brightness and the amount of shimmer. So it's really cool to be able to adjust this in real time. So the second page here is the quick select page, and this allows you to fire instruments uh, in the moment, improvisationally. So right here at the top of the computer screen, we've got some go-to uh, worship keys presets that you can dynamically mix in or out, and that's what this quick select page is all about. So I'll show you here that I could just bring up a worship piano. I could switch that up to a more compressed piano, just touching the smash piano. And I can bring in a pad. And then I've got the volume of the pad here. And because this is a touch screen, the changes that are happening in Ableton are actually sent to uh, Touch OSC. So whatever happens in Ableton, any automation, any volume or filter changes, automatically gets pushed back to uh, the tablet. So I get visual confirmation of what's happening in Ableton, uh, which is something that you don't get with something more traditional, uh, like the Nano Control 2 here, which doesn't have motorized faders. And then the third tab of this template in Touch OSC uh, just gives us some master level control. So we've got a master volume here, and then we have uh, a couple rows where we can just fire scenes uh, that we've saved inside of the Ableton template. So you can designate any of these master scenes that you'd like and then just fire them uh, with a single touch of a button. So that's a little bit of how I've set up the iPad to run Touch OSC. You can also run it on your smartphone. Um, obviously, it's a little bit of a smaller interface, so what we did when we were working on this template for Sunday Keys for Ableton is instead of three pages, we added a fourth page that's just dedicated to those quick select sounds. And then the other three pages are just stripped down and actually include that bottom half only. So um, it's really cool to be able to carry around a fully fledged MIDI controller in your pocket uh, if you need to travel light or if you need something at the last minute. Uh, sometimes I'll use the Nano Control 2 to bring the volumes of my sounds in and out, and then I'll let my smartphone control tonic. Touch OSC is a killer app. For $5, you cannot beat the price. I think you can run Touch OSC on iPads all the way back to version two. So I did a quick Google search, and you can find those old iPads for like $30 or $40 on eBay. So it's actually probably one of the cheapest MIDI controllers that you can get out there as well, with a bunch of really great features. So if you'd like to check out Touch OSC for yourself, I'll put a link in the description of this video. And if you'd like uh, some help getting it set up, I'd, check, I'd recommend that you check out Sunday Keys for Ableton because it comes with the templates that I've shown you today. So you can get going right away inside of Ableton, see how it's integrated, and even make customizations if you need to, to suit the way that you wanna work. Thanks for checking out this video.